And no, but seriously, would it be better if I... Hello, Internet. Warlock. Welcome to episode 67 of Enter the Dungeon. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Drew, and I'm being joined by... Earthmover? And... Fitch? Okay, who wants to give the recap of what happened the previous time? Not I. Mm. <laughs> uh, well, like I don't you. remember. Andreas, that excuse is only going to work 50 more times. We didn't do a precap. You didn't let us. You just hit the button. What? Yes, you did. Remember? You started talking about some random dude named Kyle. Uh, we Okay, no. We had like... A... See, now I'm going to need a precap for our precap. I don't remember. <laughs> All I remember is that we decided to team up with Clyde. Okay. That's also all I remember saying in the precast. Oh. Whoops. Well, it's not like we just recorded for five seconds you said, hey, we're teaming up with Clyde. What do you think surrounded that decision? Uh, Much deliberation, but that was about it. I mean, yes, that was most of the episode. Okay. So we had a long chat and decided Clyde is the uh, is the go-to for now. We may or may not betray him later. Um, but Clyde is the go-to. Oh, uh, Fitch did the Martian thing. I. Oh yeah. See, wouldn't that be something that Fitch should say? Yeah, but he went to go get a Coca-Cola. Whatever that. How could is. he? I don't think they have that in this world. Oh, I hear his father in the background. So, um... Oh. Chris, what do you remember from last time? I want to say that we defeated someone, but we didn't. No. Because we didn't fight him. Exactly. I mean, exactly. <laughs> drag some zombies into a um, hallway. Oh well, yeah, after he tied them up and we disabled the trap. No, that was two times ago. He he left them in the room then. But then oh he right. Took care of them this time. Or they last were like time. eyes and ears. Yes, and you did that thing from the Martian. Do you remember? Oh, um, my crow. Yeah. Raven. Crow. <laughs> Whatever, some corvid. It, it was literally sent to you by the Raven Queen. The Crow Queen, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, the Crow King. The Queen. Crow King, that's a Pokemon. <laughs> Different concept, though. But yeah, so you did the uh, the thing where we spoke to the Raven Queen by uh, having the crow look at things. Yep. Uh, you remember anything else? I don't. No, um, the I named the episode deciding. some moral considerations of that helps. Oh, killing people. Yeah. Or not to kill. To kill or not to kill? Yeah, that it, is it, the question. Yeah, are you guys pro murder or anti murder? I'm pretty neutral. Oh, okay. I mean So like, you're okay to murder. <laughs> well where it's avoidable, avoid it, but I'm not necessarily opposed to murder. <laughs> Good that know. is to say, Earth Mover, not me as a person. Yes, um, Mr. Politician, what's your stance on murder? <laughs> anyway, well, it's about like this. Anyway, we ended last time with you guys telling Clyde, "Hey, yeah, we'll definitely work for you." Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Ooh, you were winking yeah. and nudging to each other, not to Clyde. Yeah. And he then gave the Thanatos gem to 
Fitch. Correct. You had a fifty percent chance. Dang it. What, why would Earthworm get all the gems? The guy who doesn't Homer. already have one. To Homer, Billy the Queen. No. no. Yeah, he's been standing behind you the entire time. Oh goodness me. Terrible. <laughs> yep. Anyway, he also said that you guys can explore the house if you want. Okay. That that's cool. Me just as well. Yeah. Maybe we'll find more stuff that we can steal from him. Is he not concerned that we stole a rod? He didn't Does say he anything about it. Story? He knows basically everything. You can bring it up if you want. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna go steal more stuff from him. I mean, he Let's invited you to search around rod. the cabin. Yeah. Well, surely, he surely he has another immovable rod, right? Somewhere. <laughs> Who knows? Not yeah. I. Well, you're the DM. You're supposed to know. <laughs> What, just because I made this fortress means that I know everything about it? Yes. Just because yes. <laughs> I determined where all the magic items were? Yes. Yes. <laughs> just because I'm the one that just activated Thitch's immovable rod, quick, how do you respond? No. Uh, it's inside the uh, bag of holding, therefore it's not no. won't Wait, affect I thought, me at all. I thought you tied it inside your shirt for easy access. I don't remember that. Am I supposed to be the hold, uh, holder of the immovable rod and know exactly where it's supposed to be at all times? Yes. <laughs> no. Well, you at least asked if you could do that. Just like drop it in your sleeve and then tie off the end. It's currently inside the bag somewhere where I can't like be. It, I put it somewhere so it doesn't seem like I'm having it. Okay, so the bag is probably the best spot for that. All right. Anyway, right, so you guys were just in Clyde's chamber, and he said that you guys can now go do what you want. Hoorah. Alright, uh, we missed some rooms on the hall going there, yes? Correct. Pretty yeah, much the whole so... right hand side. Yeah. Let's find another movable rod. Well, it's on can the I... left to us now. <laughs> Let's hope we get lucky and find another removable rod. I really want to. Alright, well, I'm, I, I say we go ahead and look through the, the just in order as we walk out. Okay, so are you going through the hole you made or the door? Um, through the door. Yeah, so this is like a 15 foot by 25 foot room that you're currently in, and it's Sort of combination of like a bedroom and a, of a master bedroom and Clyde's throne room. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and against the um, right hand wall, there's a uh, door in the middle, and then against, and then in the bottom left area, there's a, a gaping hole. We call that mm. the mover door. Yes, the best kind of door. Mm hmm. Although we really should start calling those Gerald doors. Why? Because Gerald wore it better. <sighs> Remember when he had your powers? Mm. Anyway, we're already ten minutes into the session. You, which door are you guys going through? Your, the door you made or the door that was there before? The door that was there before. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this opens up into just a bit of a... Uh, small uh, empty room when you open it up you see one door right across from you and then one door to your right uh, take to the right first I'm assuming this can be back into the main hall yeah that just opens up into the hallway okay. Euclidean so, yeah, geometry ahead. prevails where to now straight ahead I guess okay then number 10 so, as you open this up, it appears to be some sort of kitchen. Pots and pans, pans hang against the north wall. A large ki kitchen island cabinet sits in the middle with some cutlery and dishware on top. And a dilapidated oven sits in the southeast corner. 
I look inside the oven. Yeah, you open it up, and, like, it's got, like, a really rusty hinge. Part of it kind of breaks off, and you see that's just covered in ash on the inside. I blow away the ash. And you then blow away the ash? Hold my br- okay. I, I'm going to instantly hold my breath so that I don't inhale any when I do so. It's going to be like a... <laughs> As you blow away the ash, two strange forms begin to appear out of it. They seem almost a little bird-like, and also a little demon-like, and they appear to be made out of sort of the smoke and ash that seems to be forming from it. Ash creatures. And they fly up, and you hear a familiar voice say, No, not now, my method of smoke. Do not cover him in a painful soak. Oh no. And they stand down. Mm. What? So and they that seemed to be coming something else spoke. Yeah, that same seemed to be coming from near the oven. Oh god. What else was in the room? Um, <laughs> let's see now, you saw some pots and pans hanging against the north wall, a large kitchen island cabinet sits in the middle, and a dilapidated oven against the southeast corner. And a Noth. Not kidding. The Nothic is clearly nearby. I'm gonna search near the oven. Yeah, you're just gonna, like... Yeah, so the oven is against one corner, and then there's some space next to it. I'm gonna look into this. Is it, like, a space and then the cabinet, or...? Um... Just seems to be mostly wall. Okay. Um, I'm going to look behind the oven. Like over it, or are you going to go next to it? Next to. Well, then you're going to run into something. Oh, something invisible, like a zombie Nothic. Yep, and immediately the zombie Nothic reappears before you. Hmm. When you first entered, you did not see that standing in the corner was me. I I'm just gonna turn around and not say anything back, and uh, go investigate the cabinet under the island. Yeah. Um. So you open this up, and there seems to be some various, um, you know, cutlery and uh, pots and pans. Okay. Anything of particular value? Uh, no. It all looks pretty worn out. Uh, tell you what, roll me, I guess, investigation. Cool, 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 cool. That would be easier if I had been smart and actually had any dice out. You know, for like a game of D&D, that dice rolling game. Oh, I've never heard of that game. What is it? It's the thing you're playing. Oh, really? Yeah, funky. I thought this was Pathfinder. <laughs> never. Never <laughs> at my table. Without the right character sheets. <laughs> I've played Pathfinder once. Yeah, we'll campaign play Pathfinder teleport. using the D&D rule set. No, we won't. Andreas, then we'd just be playing D&D. Yeah. <laughs> well, not really, because there's, like... You can, you can homebrew some of the... Anyway, weren't you making a skill check? Yeah, but inexplicably, my, my bag of mostly D20s is not giving me a D20. We have a roll How can we server. mostly be of D20s and not have a D20? Unless well, you named it the bag of mostly D20s. You know those probability questions? It's like, hey, Jenna has a bag with 15 red marbles and one blue marble. What are the odds that she pulls that one blue marble five times in a row without picking up a red marble? Here we are. Also, I finally <laughs> found a D20. What was it investigation? Yes. Who? <laughs> I t- <laughs> what? That's an eleven. Uh, you find <laughs> one knife that seems to be in reasonable condition. Nah, I'm gonna leave it alone. I might as well look too. Well, if you want, you can take that knife he just found. Is it a plus one knife? <laughs> Does not appear to be. You can have it enchanted. I'm gonna look around at the 
frying pans. Yeah, those all look pretty worn out, chipped, rusted, you know, the like. Okay. I'm gonna wave my frying pan around like a divining rod. Beep. Beep. <laughs> beep. Beep, 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 beep. It detected the plus one of another pot. Investigation. Si, senor. Can I roll and search with a 12? So with a 12, you also find a knife that's in reasonable condition? So that's two knives. Or the same knife, because I didn't take the first one. No, it's a, it's a separate knife. Okay. <laughs> I do not have the same knife. So Can I yeah. roll again? Um, I mean, you don't think that there's... Based off of your okay. search of the cabinet, you don't think that there's probably anything good in there. But do you All want to right. take those two knives? I guess. Okay. I'm I'm gonna ask the Nothic what the little ash creatures are. <laughs> now that you guys are on the same side. Give you an answer? Sure you bet. This here is a smoke nafet. Huh. Okay then. Uh, Earth Mover has no real, no real basis for knowing what a method is. So, if, if it's not something too strange, apparently because it's got a name, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Okay. Uh, uh, was there another door out of the kitchen, or just the same one? Just the same one. Okay. There was the oven, the island, the pots and pans. Was there anything else? Um, nothing in particular. Okay. Then yeah, we can head to a different room. Yep. Okay, you going down to the next room? Yeah. Okay then. This room is blocked off. For now. Yep. So we're ever gonna try to knock it in? Yeah, I'm just gonna. Well, actually. Is the door... Does the door seem like it's blocked by something, or, like, jammed? Yeah, it seems like it's probably blocked by debris on the other side. Okay, in that case, I'm going to, uh... Does it open... I guess it opens in. Um... Alchemical stamina. Remove the frame around the door. Okay, roll plus alchemy. Let's just see what this looks like. How skillful it is. Bad. Uh, that's a ten. Yeah, that's fine. Like, you just sort of make it all collapse downward instead of any of it falling on you, but it doesn't look particularly cool. Okay. Uh, what's the debris situation Homer on says, the side? Yep. No style points for that one. Efficiency is what really matters. And then this seems to open up to the remains of a dining room. The remains of is not a good... There good seems to be a long table that has not fallen apart with four chairs on the two sides and then one on each end. Four chairs each? So ten seats total? Yes. Okay. Um, what's the condition of the stuff on the table? Is it set or is it just there? Yes, looks like there are some place sets in front of each uh, chair. What do the plates look like? Uh, tell you what, let's roll some loot dice, if either of you want to do that. Hopefully I can grab a D10 and a D100. My bag of mini dice. Uh, that's a seventy seven. Okay, so with a 77, you look around the table and realize that there's probably um, four place settings that are still in good condition. 
Seems to be a um, set of silver silver forks and knives with a uh, porcelain plate. Drew, tell me when to stop. Stop what? 92. What, wait, what, what, what are you rolling for? I was just rolling a bunch of d10s and just the last two ones that I rolled. Okay, and that'll be how much health the next guy has. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. And by the way, that doesn't necessarily that doesn't mean that there were like four place settings that seem to be spared the damage. Like that's when you collected everything together, you realize that there was probably four sets worth of good stuff. Okay. Yeah, maybe just as well nab it all then. Yep. So and Clyde literally actively encouraged us to go loot his house. He didn't seem to care. Huh. And that explains one of why the... he hasn't moved and explored his own library when he found a few le few letters. Well, he and then a chip plate gets thrown against the back wall. Hmm. What? A chipped plate, one of the ones that you weren't collecting, suddenly gets thrown against the back wall. Oh no. Hello. <laughs> Hello there. Fitch, was was that you? Did did you just throw that plate? No, that was not. That was not me. I was saying hello there to whatever threw the plate. <laughs> I didn't do it, Homer says. Earth mover. Does anyone here have sea invisibility? <sighs> I do not. Okay. Well. Oh boy. All right. Um. What do I have? I'm uh, yeah. I'm gonna do what Fitch did as well and call out into the room. Who's there? Some of the not good silverware clatters. I'm going to pull out a pound of coals. I don't know why I have ten pounds of coals in my uh, my inventory, but I do. Um, so I'm going to pull that out and uh, let's see. Let me pull over here. I, I had something to put that in. Oh! I, I just have the word bones written in my inventory. How many? It, it just says bones. Okay, you've got coal. What are you going to do with it? I was going to crush it up, but I don't know that I have anywhere nice to to put it. To um, crush it up into a... <laughs> pretty sure you saw... I think we saw a mirror in the other room. If you need a place to, um, you know, put your powder. I want to level like a bag. Are there, uh, are there like drapes in this room? Um, yeah, this room probably had a window in it, but it's all boarded up. Are there drapes on this side? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, the tablecloth then. Gonna pull off the tablecloth. Yeah. Okay. Do you? Uh, I presume you've already removed the um, place settings that you want, right? Yes, those have already been collected. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need you to make a quick strength check. Strength. I was gonna try and do the tablecloth trick. Yes. As you try to pull the um, tablecloth, I'm gonna need you to make a strength check. All right. Oh my lord. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and grab a new D20. Uh, that's a four. Yep. You uh, try to pull it, but you feel something pull it back. Oh no. All right. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna roll up half of it because I just need somewhere to collect the dust. Um, and I'm just gonna like crush it under the frying pan uh, in like a pocket of it, like a. I, I'm like, I folded a corner of the tablecloth back up onto the table, uh, and then put a piece of coal in the fold 
and then pinched the end of the fold clothes with one hand and smack and smacking it with the with the frying pan in the other hand to make it a cold dust. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and pull the tablecloth again. I'm not trying to actually pull it off. I'm just trying to gauge where the uh, what what direction the pull in the opposite direction is coming from. Um, when you start to tug on it, th this time it, it gives. There's no resistance. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'll go ahead and pull the tablecloth off, and I'll hold that pocket to one side. Uh, like, just kind of hanging down as a sack of coal dust. Okay. It starts to swing. Um, I open it onto whatever it's swinging on. I just like kind of let w the corner go and shake it around. Yeah, it part of it seems to get hung in the air a little bit, and it begins. I swing in my frying pan at the air that's got coal dust on it. Okay. I'm not going to give you disadvantage, but going to give you a minus two penalty. Okay. With the plus one, so that's only a minus one overall. Are you? Ah, come on! Aren't you proficient in your frying pan? Um, it's a simple I think weapon. that's up to you. Uh, yeah, it's a simple martial. No, because it's is it improvised or simple? Because it has a plus one. It's a simple weapon. Cool. Then yes. So. Plus three, plus strength, minus one, so that's a fourteen to hit. That hits. Roll damage. Okay. Wonder when I smacked. It was the knot. Bah humbug. If he's gonna mess with us, he deserves to get smacked. There's a D4. Ooh, that's max damage. Uh, seven. Yeah, so you swing your frying pan, and it mostly moves through the air, but it feels like it's getting slowed down a little bit. And you hear oh. something in that area give forth a screech. Um, I'm going to try and throw the rest of the tablecloth well, over. Well, you can do that on your turn, because I'm going to need you to all roll initiative. Ah, I better go first. <laughs> Well, <sighs> oh, come on. That's a three. Thirteen plus. It initiative. Combat two is a plus four, which okay. means a seventeen. And your uh, compatriots? I will roll for Homer. Nat twenty. Really? Really? <laughs> and uh, he has a plus zero to dex. <sighs> so Homer's gonna go first. And um, the other one, Zoe? Zozo gets... What's her pl initiative? Plus, plus one. Plus one? Fourteen. So Homer's gonna go first. Hoorah. Okay. Um, when I hear the screech, I'm going to use the free action to yell... Throw the tablecloth on it. So Homer is going to throw the tablecloth on it. Um, I guess this can work like a net. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I me, probably wait. have the stats for that open. Yeah, well, so do I. Yeah, so um, a net is that's a martial melee weapon, right? Probably. Um. Is it martial or simple? Oh no, it's a it's a ranged martial weapon. That's interesting. Oh yeah, because you can throw it like fifteen feet or something. Um, that's no like snowball weapon? swarm. Yeah, if he's proficient in weapons. maces, then he's probably proficient in melee weapons, right? He's probably proficient in martial weapons. Yeah, in, yeah, in martial weapons. Yeah, because he he can use a mace and a yes. long and yeah, and I have him using a long sword technically. So yeah, that's fine. So you can cool. roll with. Let me go down to this little special tag. Two. Net. Okay. Restrained. Wow. Um, okay, so yeah, that's a ranged 
deck. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, he got a nat one. Yeah, you know Why what? Did I roll that. I'm gonna you say. Yeah, so he throws that, and it lands almost where you're certain you hit, but it just falls through. Okay. Yep. It didn't Whatever work. it was, they gave it a good wallop. Yeah, good thinking, Earthmover. It didn't work. <laughs> well, that's not there anymore. So, um, that's gonna bring us to Thitch. We're all, what am I gonna do now? Uh... I guess I'll try doing what he did and try putting a tablecloth on the invisible object. Okay, so where are you aiming? Because this is an invisible creature. Okay, true. Okay, tell you what, I will let you use your bonus action to make like a perception or investigation check. Awesome. 18. Yeah, within 18, you look around real quick and realize that that floating bit of charcoal that Earthmover aimed for is still in the same place. So then I'm going to put the thing on top of that charcoal. Okay, you're going to try to use the net? Or the yes. improvised net? Yes. Um. Roll d d20. Okay, that's fine, but you're not proficient in it. In net thing, even though I'm a sailor? Nope. <laughs> and it is going to... Be... Oh, no, it's a ranged weapon, so you at least get to use your dexterity. Yes, perfect. So, yeah, just roll plus dex. All right, let's go. So, that's a 17. Yep, uh, 17 hits. You just picked this up. Yeah, so, like, Homer throws it, it lands right at the feet, and you're like, wait, let me try. You throw in the exact same spot, and it lands on top of it, <laughs> perform it making it look like a cartoon ghost. <laughs> what happened? Well, now it's restrained. That's going to bring us to... Oh, it. It. Oh, it's Cousin It. Let me double check. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, it's going to. Tr yeah, so I guess Earthmover is probably standing the closest, right? Likely. Yeah, it's going to try to slam into you. Oh, boy. Does a 17 beat your armor class? Yeah. By two, I might add. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this thing just gets hit with the net and then, or with the, keep calling it net, it's a tablecloth, just hits you with where its head should be, you suspect if it has one, for 12 damage. Oh. Ooh, I'm down a third of my health. Yeah. Ouch. And he gives force there. Actually, I'm going to take my reaction to reduce that by a d12. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stone's endurance. Yes. It's only once per long rest. That so that. next, that's going to be. Zoe. That's six. Okay, I, I reduced it by half. I gave myself resistance for one turn. Zoe's turn. Probably does. She's an adventurer. Alright. Uh, she'll use her rope to, uh... I guess you could say lasso it, uh, but really it's not that... Uh, maybe, you know, wrap the rope around the it. Okay, um... So yeah, you just wanted to quickly try to tie up whatever this thing is. Yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead and I guess have her roll plus 
sleight of yeah, make a sleight of hand check, I guess. Sleight of hand. Yeah, roll plus dexterity. Okay. Uh, what's her dexterity stat? Plus one. So fifteen. Mm -hmm. So yeah, with a fifteen, she's able to uh, tie a quick knot together and just cinch it. Yay. But here's the thing, though. This knot seems to go pretty much all the way through it. What? Like, it doesn't pierce the uh, tablecloth, but it seems as though you've tightened off this tablecloth. She's like, what's, what's going on here? Earth mover. Is it floating? Yep, it's floating. Your turn, Earth mover. Hmm. I am going to... I guess just go ahead and swing at it again with, uh... Actually, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get out, uh, Bone Crusher. Okay. Swing at it with, my, with it. Make an attack roll. No penalty. Because you can yeah, see where it is now. It's basically a pinata. Yeah, 15 to hit. That hits. Cool. I need to get Bone Crusher Enchant is what I need to do. Fix the Earth Gem to it. Ooh, that would be an idea. Oh, that's 7 damage. Okay. Yeah, that's a, um, that's a good hint. Yeah, you just hit this thing against where you presume its ribcage is, and it seems to push into the tablecloth a bit, like you're knocking around a balloon. Mm. Okay. Next up, we have uh, top of the order, um, Homer. All right. Um. Well, we're basically going to be beating around whatever this thing is, uh, what the spells does Homer have access to, if any? Should be, um, in chat. Is it pin? So, light, sa sacred flame, thaumaturgy, cure wounds, guiding bolt, sanctuary, lesser restoration, spiritual weapon, dispel magic, and spirit guardians. Okay. Or he can expend a spell slot to make a weapon attack do 3d6 radiant damage. That only lasts till the end of the turn. That's assuming he hits, but he has a plus two. Ah, we'll go for it. So bonus action, expend a first level spell slot. Yes. Well, let's see. Right now he isn't holding a mace, he's holding a long sword. Oh. So we have um, a plus three to that. Okay. Okay. Wait, Which he's presumably doing... proficient in. Yes. So plus five to hit. Yep. And yeah. And you're okay. Not... Well, that's a. Uh, <laughs> who? That's a twenty-four to hit. So yeah. Okay. Roll a d8. A d8 plus three d6. Oh, you were expending a spell slot. You didn't stipulate yes, that. I, I said it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wow, that's almost bottom possible damage. Oh, that'll be plus three from his strength, though. Um, so that's six radiant damage out of three d6. And what about the... Okay, so first, what was the bludgeoning? Or slashing? Bludgeoning was the, the slashing was four. Okay, and so then four plus his strength is seven. No, 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 no. Four total. Okay. It's one plus three. Okay. And then, on the D8. And then a 3, 2, and the 1 for the Radiant. So, almost bottom damage. Yeah, so he holds up his um, sword and says, By the might of Galay, be gone, foul demon! And his sword glows a bit and slashes into the tablecloth. <laughs> Tearing it apart, by the way, and cutting through Zoe's rope. It's Actually, fine. no, he, 
he probably wasn't trying to, um, you know, chop him in half like a Trunks killing Frieza. It was probably more like a side blow, so he does rip into the tablecloth, but it's more like a what would be a decapitating chop to a person. Mm, that probably makes okay. more sense. So then, um, that's gonna bring us to Thitch. Okay. Um, I'm assuming it's... I don't know if it's dead or not, but... Wait a second, can my crow see anything? Okay, good question, and no. From the crow's perspective, this creature doesn't look any different. That, that's a good question, though. <laughs> okay. Um, I grab at the bag, the well, the half bag that was on the, just to see if there's anything there. Uh, you're gonna grab it or punch it? I mean, I guess I could punch it, but why can't we just capture it? Uh, I, I mean, what are you trying to do here? Figure out how big the thing is. I mean, you want to try to, like, investigate it? Give me a second. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, I, get, I want to figure out what it is. Okay, um, I guess roll plus investigation. Oh, no, like, okay, I guess I want to hold it in my hands. You know how, like, I mean, this is in the heat of battle. Everything's happening pretty quickly in universe. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I guess. So I guess I'll just catch it. I I don't know. Like, there's supposed to be something there at the top, right? Since the the, the tablecloth is I mean, like sitting on top of it. I mean, so he slashed through the top it. part of the. Okay, so he slashed through the top part of the tablecloth. That fell off. The rest of it is still tied around this thing. Oh. Oh. I guess I'll punch it to the knock it prone. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Where is it? Proficiency of spells. Or the features. There we go. Um I'll punch it. I'll I'll just punch it. Okay, make the attack. I'm roll. just gonna punch it. How's a twelve plus whatever? Plus seven, that's a nineteen, that hits. Roll a D six and add your dexterity modifier. Oh, the four plus dexterity modifier, which is a four? Eight. So, yeah, that's a good hit. You, like, knock into this thing. Seem to... Yeah, you push into it pretty far, feels like. And I don't have... Don't I have another strike? Well, you said... What, do you want to try to knock it prone? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it failed. My attack failed, or no, no, no! It 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 failed its saving throw. It you just you feel like you've knocked this thing to the ground because the All bag right, falls cool. around it. All right. And then you also have a regular bonus action attack if you want. Awesome. I'm assuming it has a head. So, oh, and a 17. That Natural hits. 17. Roll straight d6 for your damage. How oh, the nice 6. <laughs> yeah, you punch into this thing and feel the bag collapse underneath you. 
I wonder, is it firm or is it just like soft? Well, as you push your hand through, uh, it's almost like the whole uh, tablecloth deflates and you're able to make contact with the ground. That's weird. <laughs> okay. I guess that's okay. Now what? What do you guys want to do? <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Anybody have an idea? I don't. Do either of our uh, NBC compatriots have any idea what that was? Um, Zoe comes over and pokes it with her sword a little bit. Well, it's not in the tablecloth. Now Is what? that good or bad? I, I don't know. Maybe it left us alone. Well, I'm content to continue exploring this room. Okay. I mean, that, that that seemed to be the main attraction of the room, was just the table and the chairs with the uh, yeah. placemats on top. Yeah. Alright. In that case... Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm good to go to the next room, then. Okay, so the next room opens up into a workshop. In the middle of this room, there's a large crafting table, and around the sides are many cabinets. Hmm. Investigation? What, what? What are you looking for? Everything. I mean, you, you need to tell me something specific that you're trying to find. I guess the cabinets. Oh, well, well, I mean, what are you trying to investigate about the cabinets? Okay, I'm looking for an immovable rod. <laughs> I mean, if there's not an immovable rod there already, no matter how high you roll in investigation, you're not going to manifest one. Not even if I roll in 101? <laughs> yeah, cheating's not going to help. <laughs> Okay, roll in a thousand. I'm kidding. Yeah, and um, but if you're looking through the um, various cabinets, you see that there seems to be various tools and supplies, nails, hammers, screws, uh, scattered about on the workbench table. There's, you know, some broken remains of old weapons. There's the handle of a, yeah, there's a handle of something. There's the head of an axe. I forgot my main mission. I'm looking for alcohol. There's a um there's there's some glass bottles. I'll take the glass bottles. Are okay. they clean? No. They're dusty. Of course. And they don't have stoppers. Alright, I'll grab them. I'll okay. wash them later. Alright. Other than that, I'm gonna keep looking for alcohol. <laughs> yeah, do you guys want any sort of crafting supplies? Um, I'm gonna grab, like, metal. Okay. Yeah, um, you're just looking for some raw metal you can throw in your bag? Yeah. Okay, I guess you can maybe get, like, a, a pound of steel. Cool. Oh, I need to mark off a pound of the coal. Yes. Well, assorted steel, to clarify. It's all from, like, different random bits of broken tools. Was there anything else of interest in here about the cabinet? There was, uh... Um... Tell you what, since you're looking around the table, how about you... make me a percentile check? Oh, good. Um... That is a 66. What's up with my double numbers tonight? Okay. So with a 66 overall, you're um, pulling through here, and you f 
seem to find some kind of helmet. Okay. Um, I pick it up. Yes. Does there seem to be anything interesting about it? If you want, you can roll plus arcana. Oh, boy. Why? I have not rolled above a 10 today except for initiative, and it wasn't even my character. That's a plus 5. Wait, that's not right. Arcana is intelligence, right? Yes, it's intelligence based. Okay, then it's a plus 6, so 16. Yeah, with a 16... You know, you're beginning to look this uh, helmet over a little more, and you realize that its design almost makes it look like a brain. And oh. there's, and on the inside, you see some various divination runes. I cautiously put it on. Okay. Uh, and did anything happen? Um, no. Not yet. Okay. I'm going to spend some time staring at it later. Okay. But for now, I'll continue wearing the weird brain hel helmet. Okay. You guys want to do anything else in here? Um, I'll rifle through the cabinet just, just for grins. Are you sure there's no alcohol? Yeah, they, they they don't keep alcohol in the workroom. Dang it! <laughs> Somebody could have probably. Worked I mean, if you guys want anything in particular that might influence. actually be in here, there's going to be any variety of like small miscellaneous tools and sharp pieces. Yeah. So do you guys need anything in particular like that? that? Nah. Okay. What next then? Pretty much the contents of this room. There's the main table and then some cabinets with miscellaneous tools. Okay. Um. I think that's all I'm gonna do in here. Can I get. If I roll anything above 50, can I get alcohol? <laughs> I'm I mean, kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, you guys moving on to the next room then? Yeah. Yeah. So, in this room, a cage across... It's a winery. ...far wall catches your attention, as there appears to be six roughly humanoid creatures locked in it. And when Holding you walk in, in, they begin in. to try to reach through the bars at you, and they're moaning and scratching at them. Ugh. Ooh, zombies. You also notice on a table in the middle, there are six bottled liquids, and a set of <sighs> cabinets I'll against call. the north wall. What was up with the liquids? There are six bottled liquids on a table. Huh. Uh, I'm gonna make an arcana check on them. That is a 22. Yeah. No, 23. Yeah, this room just sort of screams lab to you, so you definitely think that these are potions. Okay. Uh, nabbed six mystery potions. Okay. Okay. Um. Was there anything in particular that looked? I mean, there was the um. <laughs> hmm. I assume there's zombies behind the cage. Um. They seem. They. They appear undead. Okay. I'm going to leave that alone. And to clarify, these potions, they're each in different colors. One's green, one's purple, one's pink, one's yellow, one's white, and one is clear. Uh, 
I'm writing that on a 3x5 card instead. Say again? Green, purple, pink. Okay. And then... Green, purple, pink. Yellow, white, and I, clear. Investigation? Um... Are you gonna let that check Yellow, out? Yellow, white, clear? Huh? Yellow, white, then clear. Um, okay. yeah, you're gonna let Fitch check him out then? Go for it. Okay, which one do you want to investigate? Say the colors one more time. Green, purple, pink, yellow, white, and clear. Are any of them bubbling? Um, yeah, the yellow one's bubbling. Could that be acid? Uh, okay, um... I'll investigate the yellow one first. Okay. Um, what are you trying to do with it? Well, first I'll open it and hold something to over it to make sure it's not, like, acidic or something. I'll check its properties. Yeah, okay, go ahead and roll plus investigation. Uh, investigation... Fifteen. Yeah, with a fifteen, you check it out. Um, presumably, you pour a little bit on something. It doesn't burn. Uh, do you taste it at all? I don't think it's safe for me to taste it. <laughs> okay. It is a mysterious liquid that's bubbling that is also yellow. Yeah, it seems to smell pleasant. Smells pleasant. Yep. Earth mover. <laughs> <laughs> what? Drink this. Do you know any? <laughs> Would you like to try this? No, thank you. Do you have any idea what it could be? It smells like a meadow on a sunny day. Oh, I'm not messing. I don't. I don't do potions. I'm. I'm gonna have these identified by a professional. I'm not. I'm not gonna bother by myself. I. I have an idea. Oh no. I put one, I get closer to the zombies and pour a little on the hands of one of them. Um, yeah, I guess he would probably lick its hand instinctively. And it starts to glow for a I little guess. bit. It glows for a few <laughs> seconds and then doles back down. Okay, that's probably either light or something I don't want to deal with, so. I back away. <laughs> Uh, can does anything else happen to the zombie? Nothing that you notice. It doesn't heal any wounds or anything. Not that you can see. Oh no. Homer, do you know anything about this yellow liquid? <laughs> I know better than to drink strange potions. Yeah, I, I, I say we just get these identified later. All right. Can I pour... If we're gonna do that, then can I just pour a little of each potion on each of the zombies? Um... I guess so. Just, like, checking each one. Okay. Or, and as well, are any of them acidic? Yeah, so... I, I assume that, like, um... You, you pour it in their mouths a bit? Right? Yeah. So, in the process of doing this, you do get bit. What? Yeah, they're... they're oh, not, they're not in you're their putting mouth. Your, you're putting your hand near their Wait, mouth. Wait, I thought I was doing exactly what I was doing last time with the... I asked, are you going to put it in their mouth? just asked you, are you putting it putting in my, their mouth? And I'm not paying yes. attention, my bad. <laughs> That's your fault. Because that would be the surest way to make sure that they, you know, actually yeah. drink it. Well, I mean, like, okay... I was gonna do exactly the like, the hand thing. Yep, but they might I don't not know, necessarily they... look it up. How many of them would have not done it? <laughs> oh well. So yeah, it's your, it's your you can have a guarantee of them tasting them and take some damage. 
Oh, oh first I'll take the non-guarantee way. That's what I would usually do. You're just wasting potion. And some potions only work if you take a significant amount of it. Oh, God. You can always have these identified later by a professional, as Andreas was saying. Alright, fine. Which is what we did last time we found potions. Yes, that is true. Fine, I'll do that. Or you can test them on your own zombies, who you know won't bite you. Yeah, but they're loyal to me. What if one of those potions are bad? Or you can capture an orphan at some point. Capture an orphan. <laughs> that's, that, I think that's pretty bad. Yeah, you could be an adult orphan. That I killed won. a bunch of people. <laughs> like Batman. Child murderer. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, the orphan that kills other orphans. Like Batman. Is Joker an orphan? Oh, no, he doesn't kill Joker. He kills other people. Anyway, uh, what else do you guys <laughs> want to do? Um. What else is in this room, or is that it? That was about it. Yeah, I'm ready to go to the next one. Okay. Alright, next the room. The next one opens up into what appears to be some sort of storeroom. Okay. Time to hunt Any through alcohol? boxes. Uh, Thitch, go ahead, roll. Pl Chris, have Thitch roll plus investigation. Alright. <sighs> Wait, is that a, the tens or. Uh, the hundred or skill is it the check. D20? D20. Alright. See, I'm forgetting how to play the game already. 16 plus 1, 17. Yeah, in. Yeah, you start uh, rifling through various uh, crates, and in the back of it, and in a box in the back, you find a bottle of wine. <sighs> Yay! Okay, Earthmover, looking for anything? Uh, not anything in particular. Just rifling through to see what I find. Um, you find some rotten foods stuffs, mostly. Mm. Some cheese that's gone bad. Some flour. Um, some what? Flour. Hmm. I take the flour. Okay. Like just a pocket full of flour? Uh, I'm assuming it's like a sack of flour. Well, there's a uh, barrel of flour. Do you take a pocket full? To heck with it. I'm picking up the barrel. Let's go. Okay. Call back. I mean, you can. We've established that you can. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Okay, go for it. You now have a barrel of flour that's probably spoiled. That's okay. Yep. Okay. Where to next? Um... The next room, I, or I guess next room, yeah. Um, in this one, you see many paintings and statues, and some painting supplies scattered around. Paintings and statues. Uh, what are the statues of? Uh, seem to be a variety of things. Uh, you notice, um, at least one appears to be of the Raven Queen, and another one seems to be of Clyde. Are there any other significant figures listed that I You see recognize? a painting of the Nothic? Hmm. Uh, and... Can I make like, an insight check to see how recent that was? Okay. Um... Hey. That's a 21. Yeah, that one, it, it, none of the paint seems chipped or anything. The canvas doesn't seem old. Okay. But something a bit more interesting that you notice is that one, in one of the paintings of Clyde, he is standing in the middle of the painting. There's a very dark backdrop, and surrounding him 
are various gemstones. Oh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, do I recognize any of the gemstones? Uh, let's see now. One of them appears to uh, be black. One of them appears to be green. One red. Um, one a, another shade of green. One blue. Um, yeah, they, they, there seems to be about... Um, yeah, there seems to be 12 gems around him. In a variety of colors. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one purple. Is Stitch interested in anything in the art room? Uh, what else was there? It was the Nothic, the Raven Queen, one of Clyde. Uh, it seems to be two or three of Clyde. There's some landscape shots and then some miscellaneous painting supplies scattered around. Okay. Um, I don't think there's ever anything of interest with for me. Okay. I can I just search randomly. I mean, see what I there's not really much space for anything to be hidden here. Do Do you want a set of painter supplies? Nah. Yeah, because there's enough here for one. All right. How about you, Earth? Remember, you want a set of painting supplies? Nah. I don't know how to use them. I don't have a particular interest in in the. Uh, okay practice. then. Um, on to the next room. I suppose so. Okay. This one, when it opens up, you see the remains of several chairs that appear to have once been of high quality. There's also a fireplace and a shattered mirror. Hmm. Um, what's the mirror facing? Let's see now. It was hung against the wall wall on the um, right hand side from when you walked in okay um, is it clear what broke the um, the mirror I mean it seems to be shattered with several pieces scattered around it okay You want to take any of the broken pieces of glass? Uh, sure. There's no reason not to have a couple mirror shards. Okay. You now have some mirror shards. Where are you carrying that? Just open in my bag. You sure you want that? Sounds like a safety hazard. I mean, if I st actually. I'll run real quick uh, back to the room with the tablecloth and grab that. Because I assume Zoe grabbed her rope back. Yes. So yeah, I'll grab the uh, tablecloth and kind of wrap it up in that and tie the tablecloth Yeah, when you go back and... to grab the tablecloth, you hear you see another plate get thrown against the wall. I yell at it to shut up, and I grab the uh, the stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so you now have some broken pieces of glass. That was the last room in the hall, by the way. Okay. So, I guess that was everything in the house, huh? Mm-hmm. I found alcohol. And some potions. Yes. Now what? Um, that was everything down the hall. Did we miss any rooms further back? No. You guys went pretty much all the way down and then through. Okay. Um, then I guess we head back to town. Okay. 
So you guys are gonna have to go back through that woods. Oh, oh me. right. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. This time, you don't hear any voices calling out to you for help. You don't hear any mysterious ghosts whispering. Well, that's good. No one needs any help. And when you get to the fog, Fitch, it seems to... Okay, so who? what's the marching order here? Are you guys just all walking in a row? Um, I'm probably or... in the back. Yep. I'd, I'd say NPCs in the middle. So yeah, Fitch that's in the how I'd be in the front. So, Fitch, when you approach the fog, it seems to part for you. For me, not for them. <laughs> well, you are in front. It parts enough for whoever's immediately behind you to go in as well, but that seems to be about it. Oh. So then the other two don't get it. I mean, they can go through the fog, probably. <laughs> All but right. They cool. don't get this escort service, whatever it is. Awesome. And so, um, who would have been right behind him? Probably Zoe. Okay, so then, Earthmover and, um, Homer, you both kind of hear some voices bombarding you saying, Get out of the fog. Get out of the fog. Oh, Lord. Get to the woods where it's safe. Trust us. Do I hear it? No, do you I do not. It? We oh. didn't listen to these voices, and now we're trapped here. Get to the Earth woods Mover. where it's safe. Are you still there? Get to the woods where it's safe quickly, quickly. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue following the parting of the fog. <laughs> Homer starts <laughs> to uh, step a little away from you, almost as if he's trying to get to the woods. I'm gonna grab him by the arm, Homer. Huh? huh? You've been through this already. Come on, let's go. Stay on the beaten path. Okay. Stay on the yellow brick road. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's fine then. Alright. Let's keep going. And so, yeah, you guys are able to carry down this path, and you begin to see ahead of you where it opens back up onto the main road. Awesome. Okay. And, Fitch, you hear a voice say very plainly, leaving so soon? I look around. Uh, careful, don't make yourself look like a madman. They can't hear me. I look forward. Yeah, you're going back then? I don't want to make a sound. Yeah, I get it. Look, I know your plan. You're planning to um, eventually turn on Clyde, right? Don't worry, I won't tell him. I squint. I'm like, I'm trying to look at who's trying to talk. Well, without without moving my head super a lot, but I'm like looking around. Or I guess with my raven. Look, you don't need to worry about it. Just. Will you be okay with me reaching out to you again through the gem? That was originally my gem, I... though. <laughs> I begin to realize who it is. <laughs> uh, I try to speak in my mind and see if he hears me. Is it who I think this is? <laughs> and I stay in my head. Just go ahead and whisper a yes or no if it's okay for me to reach out to you again through that gem. <sighs> I, I think about it for a second. <sighs> what? I say, aren't you supposed to be dead? <laughs> How loud do you say that? Silently. If you're saying it completely silently, there's no response. Hmm. 
I just keep walking. <laughs> Come on, I can hear you if you whisper. Don't read minds though, Fetch. Gonna need an answer. Can anybody else hear that? Um no one no one else seems to be acting like they hear a voice. By the way, Andre, <laughs> you do not hear this voice. Okay, I didn't figure. I seriously have to think about it. <laughs> I mean, you're running out of time. You're approaching the edge of the woods. He's just gonna need a whispered oh, yes or no. You can always cancel later. Cancel later. Yeah. I just want... I just need you to approve me reaching out to you through that gem. It can be like it is now if you want. Yes or no, Thetch? First off, I don't know who you are. I'm gonna have to say no. For now. Name's Thanatos. Can you ask later? Can't ask later. Through the gem. Through the gem. Afraid not. I'm gonna need a yes or no. I stop for a second. <laughs> I go to consult. Earth mover. Okay, you just say it loud. Hey, I hear a voice. No, I don't. Actually, hold up. Can I talk to the Raven Queen? Um, how do you try to do that? I stop. Okay. And. Look at the raven and whisper to the raven. Do you trust Thanatos? Yes. Yeah, right. No, left. I'm afraid she can't hear you when you're in this path. Oh. Is Earthmover inquiring as to why stop? <laughs> yeah, uh, he yeah. just sort of stopped down uh, in his tracks like 50 feet from the edge of the woods. Everything all right up there, Thitch? I'm a, I'm a bit confused. <laughs> what about? Apparently, Thanatos, with air quotes, is talking to me through apparently the stone. <laughs> I mean, this is his plane, and he became the but plane. But he said he can't talk to me outside of the woods through the, through the stone. Well, he became the woods, didn't he? I bet if we went near the rivers, the people that were other previous rulers of the land could talk to you there, too. Well, yeah, but Thanatos is asking if he can talk to me later through the stone. Are you asking for my opinion, or are you just informing me of that? I'm going to ask for your opinion on this one. <laughs> I don't see why not. I mean, what else can he do? No idea. I, I don't know what he, what he would want, but I don't <sighs> see an inherent harm. Can I give you... Uh, I... <laughs> I, we, I keep moving towards the edge of the woods. Yes or no, And Fitch. I'm gonna have... To, I need you to explain it to me why. Look, right now, you are the keeper of the of the Thanatos gem. That means that if you can approve it right now when you're in my fraction of a domain, then I'll be able to extend it out through you. It'll be like you're taking a piece of me with you. Then what about the Raven Queen? She kn knew that this was a possibility when she sent you on this mission. And she didn't tell me about it? Mm -hmm. Did she tell you that Clyde was her betrothed? Oh, that's just part of not knowing things, I guess. She knew Clyde was her betrothed, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, she sent us to kill him. Mm-hmm. 
So, would you like to be able to carry on this conversation later? Or do you want me out of your life? Well, say I came back into the woods and asked you the question later. Well, what are the odds of you returning to this plane? All I would have to do is open the plane via the gem, right? Do you know how to do that? <sighs> He's got you there. <laughs> the Raven Queen? <laughs> Come on. I won't hurt you. <laughs> You're saying it as if you could. I'm Aren't sure you could. just woods? Not in this state. What's it to you about the gems? Well, that gem is a piece of this plane, and as extension, is a piece of me. If you'd like, we can let it be a sort of bonding between us, and I can use it to talk to you later. Or, you can just leave my, this neck of the woods now, as it were. I'm so conflicted. <laughs> So if I already give it my, the stone to Earth Mover, actually, because what's what's the worst that could happen? But at the same time, what's the best that could happen? I'm so conflicted. <laughs> you get ancient eldritch knowledge, huh? Maybe you'll get some ancient knowledge from it. That's what demons do, don't they? Ooh. Isn't it? Ooh, ooh, hexblade warlock patron. <laughs> Through the stone to Thanatos himself. Yeah. So it's your choice. That's yes or no. Oh my gosh. If I say yes, what would happen? <laughs> Oh, All... I'm not asking for any sort of payment or anything. You're just giving me a sort of connection to you, and we can continue this conversation later. It's as simple as that. And... Okay, but say I lose a stone. Will you still talk to me, or will you not? I, sp I will no longer be able to directly talk to you, but if the next owner of this stone brings brings it here, then I'll be able to give them the same offer. So I'm assuming you know about Clyde. <laughs> yes. Clyde refused this opportunity. Now why would he refuse it? <laughs> because he's vain, remember? He didn't see the potential in getting ancient wisdom. I remember back uh, from to the paintings, and I ask Earth Mover. Earth Mover, what was that painting that you saw with Clyde and those weird stones again? Probably most of the elemental gems, or at least a good number of them. One of them was black, right? Uh, there was a black one, right? Yes. There was also a purple one. Uh, why do you I'm, ask? <laughs> I'm making a decision. Oh, gosh. I'm going to say yes for now, but if you do anything weird, I'm going to just give the stone to someone else. Sounds good to me. See you later. That's not suspicious at all. Yeah. Come back here, Thanatos. No response. Oh, goodness me. This'll be good. Okay. <laughs> so you guys are going to continue along your way? Yeah.
Okay, let's go ahead and fast forward to the Raven Queen then. All right. First question for the Raven Queen. Yeah. Are, Help. Because th this session's there? running a little long, but there's still a few more points I want to hit before we wrap up. All right. All right. Okay, so yeah, you guys, I guess, are able to make it back to her castle, past the spooky bridge, through the... Yeah, past the spooky road, over the spooky bridge, you know. To Grandma's house we go. Yeah. Yes. Oh, how'd you know she was Grandma a Raven, Grandma? Get my Raven. Gamma Raven. <laughs> okay, so... You told Clyde that you'd work with him for now? For now. Supposedly. I mean, I heard that part of the conversation. My connection yeah, you know dropped my, off you know my plan. after you left the cabin, though. Yeah, help. Um, supposedly Thanatos. Oh, yes. Talk. Thought he might reach out to you once you had the gem. Now what happened? I what mean, is his plan? Did you take the offer? He, he said he was going to talk to me later. Yeah. Now, I have no clue what he meant. Probably just, hmm, maybe he wants to end up getting something from you. Or maybe he's he just said he would All he said he was going to talk to me later. Maybe he wants you to be his eyes and ears in the other planes. Well, yeah, but all I would have to do is just give the gems to someone else and he wouldn't be able to talk to me. That's right. Or you could probably sever the connection in another way. Yeah, which way? Oh, well, I mean, you are the current possessor of the stone, of the gem, that gives you power over it. Okay. So then tell me more about the stone. <laughs> well, that right there is a manifestation of pure necrotic energy. As you probably know, there are eight schools of magic. One of them mm -hmm. is necromancy. And that gem right there is necromancy in a solid form. Okay. With Makes its sense. power, you can, in theory, if you're to channel it properly, attack your enemies with uh, waves of darkness or raise the dead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So then... What would this stone mean to you? <laughs> well, I right now have no real use for it. All right, cool. This is going to go swell. We have uh, three of the most powerful beings on one team, supposedly. <laughs> yes, you guys right now basically have three avatars of death all pining for you to work for them. <laughs> Each with probably different to. interests. Two of whom are gods. Yes. Yeah, so Thitch is just playing every angle here, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so then, Thitch, now that you've returned and sort of dealt with my... with Clyde, will you be willing to work with me on a more regular basis? Will you become my warlock? Why would you say it like that? Why can't I just be like a warlock or something like that? <laughs> Either well, way. Because currently uh, yeah, I don't have sure. anyone else in that position, but I might. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> hmm. I'm already playing the side of two others. Might as well add a third one. <laughs> okay, then. And she reaches out her hand towards you, and you begin to feel some energy emanate out through the gem and through the raven. And you're now officially multiclassed. We can deal with that later, what that means for your leveling up perspective. 
And yep, you guys are both now leveled up to level six. Congratulations. Hoorah. Finally. Now about the manner of getting you two home. Yeah, uh, there are four of us. Now about the matter of getting you four... Oh, I, I was talking to, um, Homer and Zoe. I thought the two of you were staying here for eternity. I'd rather not No, no. Uh, bit of an... Bit of a celestial joke, as we call them. We, we like to make jokes with the mortals. I see. I still look down and I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> what have I done? I don't even know whose side I'm on. Mm -hmm. I'm on the side that seems to be the most powerful. That's my angle. I'm on the side of whoever's side is which. I'm on side number three. <laughs> yep. Now, you know the fog that you guys appeared in? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the one south of here. Well, south of that is the River Styx. Mm-hmm. Thanatos. No. Okay. What about it? So, the River Styx flows throughout the Planarverse, ending itself in the realm of Stygia, which is in the Nine Hells. Okay. So, now, there is a god named Portham who guides along a riverboat. Normally, okay. he simply shepherds souls throughout the Planarverse after they died, but he sometimes allows mortals to tag along. Okay. Here is what you need to know about him. Once you go to the river, you're going to basically need to call out to him, and you're going to need to have payment ready. Oh, okay. It's what one gold coin each. One gold coin each. That ain't too bad. Alright. Now, that might not sound enough. like much, but what's important to remember is that you're entering into a deal on the River Styx. Okay. That is the river of what absolute kind of truth. When Styx was the god of Thanatos, he was the god of death as an absolute truth. All beings one day die. As such, it is forbidden to lie while on the river. Ooh. Okay. It's also forbidden to make any to break a deal made on the river, both in a figurative and metaphorical sense. You will be oh, quite goodness. literally broke broke making a deal with this god while he is on the river, which will tie you into a covenant. Oh, good. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> here comes the fourth one. <laughs> so, here is going to be what I recommend you do. You ask him... You offer payment to go to a very specific location somewhere on your plane. And no matter how tempting, you that, don't try to get to off... my plane? Well, I mean, that's what I recommend. I suppose you could go anywhere, but here's Back what's off. important. <laughs> what, No matter how tempting, do not try to get off the boat before then, because that would be breaking the terms of your deal. Okay. All right. All right. Can I ask for the alcohol plane? I, I suppose you could. Don't know how you'd get back, though. <laughs> Through his own power, he will be effectively manifesting the River Styx in wherever you wish to end up. In theory, a mortal spellcaster could do this, but it is a very difficult ritual. <sighs> say, in theory, yes. I had two gold pieces, and I say... Take me to this place and then this place. Hmm. He tends not to stick around. You would want to go to a place where the river sticks is already there or have someone who could summon it. Okay, say I had the Thanatos stone. 
Well, once you master its power, you should be able to open up gates in between the Thanatos plane and wherever you came from. Okay. So I guess I'm not ready yet no. for that. Dang it. All right. And one more thing, Fetch. Mm -hmm. While I rather enjoyed the stunt we pulled with the Raven and me answering yes or no questions, I'm afraid I won't be able to do that after you leave this plane. Why not? Because my power of direct control only lasts over it while you're here. After that, it will become fully your Raven, and you shall receive certain powers and magic from me, but we will not be able to communicate as easily. Not even if I let the Raven all attend to a stone? <laughs> Perhaps one day, once you learn how to channel more of the stone's power, you can. Dang it! Okay, fine. <laughs> I want to cheat the system! <laughs> Alright, fine. Is there any goal you want me to achieve? Other well, I guess just stop Clyde. Yes, at the moment I need you to... Stand against Clyde, and also I really do not approve of vampirism and liches, so if you could take some of those down for me, that would be excellent. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay. Anything else you guys want to do with the Raven Queen? I don't think so. Okay. Is there any way other than... Like, say I did need to get in contact with you. Say I did need to. Or... What would I do? You're a clever guy. I'm sure you can figure something out. True. <laughs> okay. Alright. No straightforward answer there. All right. <sighs> Any other questions, guys? No, I think I'm ready to start figuring out how to get out over to the sticks and head on out of here. Okay. So you guys want to head back south? Yeah. Or keep heading south. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Let's go. Okay, so you depart from the Raven Queen's castle, back over her drawbridge, presumably not jumping into the void. Yeah. Yep. I look into the void. Still spooky. Fetch. Dive in, Fetch. Hi, are you another god that wants to come into my pact? <laughs> come in, Fetch. Come join us in the pet. Are you a god of the pit? <laughs> Come find out. You're not a god. A god would answer yes. He has God has his own pride. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, good answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you guys start heading back through the fog together, but Fitch you feel a sort of sense of confidence, like you know your way around the plane for some reason. Oh, goodness. <laughs> like you're able to guide them down to the river. And you Why guys do, do I feel like this is familiar? And you <laughs> this guys is do, not course, a good sign. <laughs> you guys do, of course, hear it before you see it. The sound the river? of a rapidly rushing river. Yay. And once you approach the shoreline, the fog disappears. Now, past the river, there just seems to be desolate wasteland. A lot of that really dark grass, but this seems even more ominous. And then there's the river in front of you, about ten feet across. Hmm. Did she tell us how to call out to... Do I get an inkling on how I'm supposed to pronounce to do this? Or do we just wait for him to show up? Um, well, the god's name is Porthem, and she told you to try to get his attention. 
do I say something familiar that someone else has said before, <laughs> channeling through me, or do I just say, "Hey, I mean, fourth M, uh, need a ride home, to, please." <laughs> you want to try to use the jump or anything? Do I try channeling it? <laughs> I mean, that's up to you. Do you? <sighs> First time for everything. Might as well. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and roll plus Arcana. Or plus Religion, if you prefer. They're both intelligence-based. Alright. <laughs> That's not good! What? A one? <laughs> okay. One plus one, but... With a one, you hold out the gem... Wait, and it am I been lucky? Oh, yes, you Wait. are. Yes, I yes, go ahead and reroll. <laughs> 18. <laughs> yeah, with an 18, you just hold out the gem over the sacred river, and it just seems to start glowing a very dark light. And, um, do you say anything? Poor them. A little help, please. <laughs> and then, almost as if materializing from the water, you begin to see a riverboat. slowly Hello. forming into view from the mists of it. You hear someone say, ah, looks like we got some live ones today who need transport. Is that correct? Yes. yes. And yes, we will get to true. that next time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull everyone to the side for a second as we, to determine our destination. What was the name of the country that we're heading well, to next? Well, 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 we can figure that out next session. Okay. Yep. Just let that hang over your heads about how specifically you need to <laughs> be about this. Oh, I already know exactly what, as specific as I think it would need to be. Okay. Yeah. Well, everyone, I've been your host and Dungeon Master, Drew, and I'm being joined by... Earthmover? And... Questionably not dead bitch. Bye. <laughs>